end results of the cabbage. When you serve them, they're going to be in little hunts like that. Soft and tender and have a good flavor. So a lot of people shred theirs, but it's fine. But I like when I have mine like little hunks. You have a little slices of car um, cabbage in there also. But just have a good old the way it's looking. You know, you're eating cabbage. You know what you're eating. See that? You know you're eating cabbage. This is Sandy. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel. And after this presentation, I'll show you how to make this wonderful dish. How to do steamed cabbage. You can serve your company, your family with this. Look at that. I like that. I like when the cabbage a whole like that, y'all. That's a cabbage. You know what that is. You know what that is. So look at the tender uh, smoked turkey tail. And look at that, y'all. This is what I like. That's what I like, that right there. With a good piece of cornbread, fried chicken, and some candy yams. Hey, you got you a meal right there. This is the same one tell you how to eat it. And after this presentation, I will show you how to do this wonderful, magnificent steamed cabbage. And thank you for coming to my channel. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is how to steam a cabbage. A lot of people see cabbages and they just stir away from them. But hey, cabbage is so nutritious and so good. So I'm going to show you how to steam a cabbage and make a great cabbage. First, you're going to have to use some black pepper, some salt. Now, if you use, uh, well, I guess you call it ham hocks. You use ham hocks, but I don't use ham hocks. So I use turkey tails to do my um uh, seasoning in my cabbage. You're going to save the broth after you uh, boil these turkey tails so they get real tender. You're going to uh, save this broth and you're going to pour this broth in a pan. You're going to have a nice cabbage. Now uh, this cabbage right here is um, a regular sized cabbage. So I'm going to cut it just like this with a sharp knife and then I'm going to uh, cut it in the middle just like this, cut it in the middle. Now I don't have a, I have a sharp, sharp knife, but this one I'm gonna have to do, and to show you how to do it. Now if you got a sharp knife, you uh, use that knife. But I don't have a sharp knife right now. But I do have some knives though. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this core right here. This is how the country folks do it. Cut this core out like that. Go down to the bottom and pop it out of there like that. You see, you can pop it out just like this. You can pull out just like that. Pop that core out. Kind of tricky. Pull that core out like that. Then you're going to do the other one the same way. Cut around that side like that and try to pop that core out right there that. It's kind of tough, y'all. And you're going to pop it up. Get that core out like this. There you go. Got it out. Now you're going to discharge that. So what I'm going to show you is what you're going to do. You're going to use this broth and you're going to pour it in a pan. Just that broth in a pan. And what you're going to do is add some oil. You're going to add some canola oil with it. And then you're going to let it boil. You're going to let it get hot. While that's getting hot, what we're going to do is cut this cabbage. So how I do my cabbage, I'm going to steam it. So what I'm going to do is have mines in chunks. Just like this. I make mines in chunks. Because I love the chunky style. And this is what we're going to steam. We're going to cut these in chunks like this. Now you're going to have... Uh, Chunk, chunky style, which is good. Good is good. Now, chunky is good. So, we're going to cut these up in chunks, just like this. In chunks, just like that. And then we're going to be right back when we we'll get the chunks done. Now, you can save these little leaves. You save those leaves, you do not destroy them. So, what we're going to do is let this uh, all in broth from the turkey uh, tails ball and get hot and we're going to put them all these chunks back in there so what we're going to do now is use 
the turkey tail. We're going to cut the turkey tail. I'm going to show you how to cut the turkey tail when we come back. Okay. All right. We're going to cut the turkey tail. It's nice and tender. And we're going to add it back to the cabbage. So our broth is cooking with the oil in there. So what we're going to do is take all this out. Sometimes you just use your fingers. Now this is because uh, just like having a smoked ham hock, but you're using smoked turkey. The ones who don't eat ham or pork, this is a great idea for you. But make sure you get this bone out. This bone needs to be out because this is what uh, will choke you and you don't want that to happen. You don't kill anybody. So what you're going to do is just make sure all these don't have bones in it. And you're going to continue on squeezing and make sure that the bones are not in there, that you lose the bone. And that's how you do that. Okay, now, I brought this boiling, just like that. So we're going to add our cabbage to it, just like this. Our hunks of cabbage is going in there like this. So you just like put a hunk of cabbage a going in just like this, a hunk. And they're going to come loose. You're going to have some pieces because it's in layers. So we're going to put the hunks of cabbage in there just like this. Just like that, y'all. Because they're going to come loose. But then you got the hunky style. And you're going to steam these little things. I'm going to put this in there. Now, you can use the little pieces. It ain't going to hurt to use them. So I'll put them in there like that. Okay. And we're going to add salt. That. I'm going to add some black pepper. That. I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Excuse my hands, y'all. I'm going to wash the top off. Some parsley flakes, just like that. I'm going to wash the container top off, excuse me. And then we're going to add the turkey tail back on top. Just like that. And then we're going to add just a little more canola oil. As the cabbage cook, when you put the top on top of the pot, it makes its own steam. So that delicious um, broth that came from the turkey tail has a smoke flavor and it will smoke into the cabbage. We add a little extra oil to give it a little more shiny to it, a little more flavor because that uh, yeah, that broth needs a little bit more help to do those cabbage. So have, you see how they're steaming up right there? That's what you want. And you don't have to worry about putting in the liquid in But if you want to put in the liquid in, you can put some chicken broth in there and that will help it out. But this right here, once they get done, you're going to love them. So give them about another 10 minutes. Now if you want them to be crunchy, you can make them crunchy. If you want to put garlic on it, you can put garlic. If you want to put dill on it, you can put dill. If you want to put uh, basil, whatever you want in your cabbage, you can put on there. But I just use only the parsley flakes and whatever I like. Now they put in the onion, now they put in the garlic, but I'm doing the old country way, the way my mom used to do it. You can put soy sauce in there, hot sauce, whatever you want to put in your dish, you can do it. But these are just a basic steamed cabbage. They are steaming and they are going to be delicious. I'll be right back and let you see what they look like. Alright, this is our end results of our, our steamed cabbage. They are delicious. Like I always say, they flavorful. They have a great, great taste. They smothered in that little turkey broth as we steam them. So if you like turkey tails, this will be perfect for you. If you want to use a ham hock, you know, you go ahead and do it. But we don't do ham hocks on this channel. We do smoked turkey and it's fabulous. Look at the turkey that we cut and put inside. And look at the, the cabbages are just delicious. They are soft and they are steamed. This is Sandra. I want to show you how to do this steamed cabbage after this presentation. Thank you for coming to my channel. I thank the new subscribers. I thank the ones who just people boo and look in and look out. But hit that subscribe button because I come up with different 
ideas and different recipes that you will like and enjoy. And it's so easy, so easy to do. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel. And look at this cabbage. Who would not like to have this cabbage on their table to serve to their family? This is beautiful, y'all. This is a beautiful cabbage. And I like, look at that little turkey tail sticking out of there. I like how I did it. I didn't do the shredded. I just did the chunky style. So this you can just dip in there and get your little cabbage out of there and put it in your plate. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating. And thank you for coming to my channel. And don't forget to go to soulfoodqueen.net and get the recipe for this marvelous steamed cabbage. Yes, indeed. Thank you for coming to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe.